Spider-Man comes out this week. Ryan Howard is done with baseball. Let that happen already. And we actually talked to WNBA and how to improve it and how to get these ladies paid. The alarm went off. I was too long. Hey, all this and more on a brand new Downright Sports. It is showtime, everybody. Welcome to an all-new Downright Sports. It is September 4th, 2018. I'm your host, Brent Reed, and we are today going to cover the WNBA and our topic, how to pay, get them paid, how to get them better exposure, me pretend to be commissioner. But first, we start like we do every show with the must-know news, and we kick it off first. Colin Kaepernick had... New Nike campaign is already sparking controversy, is already pissing people off. We don't care about that. Basically, the campaign is believe in something, even if it means sacrificing everything. Deep in thought. Will it sell more sneakers? We'll find out. Next up, former MLB All-Star and MVP and World Series champion Ryan Howard is retiring. Huh. Ryan Howard hasn't played since 2016. I thought he was already retired. But uh, apparently Ryan Howard last year had a minor league deal with the Braves and the Car and um, the Colorado Rockies. And he is finally saying enough's enough. Uh, well, I think everybody else told you that. Sorry, Ryan. But Ryan was a great player, great for the Phillies. Like I said, won an MVP and won Philly a World Series. And then finally we wrap it up with college football's first week happened and a lot of excitement a lot of things the first thing off though virginia tech scores a huge conference victory on the road against florida state good for you brad as they beat florida state last night in a very good game very defensive game not a whole lot of offense the sec showed their strength this past weekend uh alabama had a huge victory over um louisville who's an acc team and was ranked, if you're, never play Alabama the first week of the season. I'm just calling it right now. Uh, Auburn beat Washington 21-16. Uh, LSU uh, just embarrassed Miami, who's probably going to drop in the rankings. Michigan and John Harbaugh continue to look unimpressive as they lose to Notre Dame. And Maryland, with all its controversy, scores a huge upset over Texas. Guess it wasn't Charlie Strong's fault, huh? But that's what happened. Uh, the real and the big boy football starts on Thursday, obviously. And if you want to know my NFL preview, just go back and watch a previous show, two shows before this one. All right. Uh, but to go, I have 30 seconds to touch on this. For these so called uh, on the road neutral site games that you play against the SEC, they're bogus and they're nonsense. The Miami game was played in Texas, which if you know anything, Texas and Lu Lu um, uh, um, Louisiana are not that far apart from one another. Uh, for Miami, it's more of a, uh, uh, it's, a, it's really a road game. For LSU, it was just like a second home game played in Jerry Jones' stadium. For Auburn, they played in Atlanta. Come on. Really, Alabama and Georgia are right next door to each other. Washington had to fly all the way across the state. The NCAA, I've complained about them before. They need to do something about this because it's not really neutral sites. If the if the 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 if one of the teams fan base only has to travel two hours to get there. If they next time they do this nonsense, let them play in New York or or California or Michigan, a way where it's really neutral. That's the only way it can be fair. But college football or college sports period does not mean fair. We all know that. Anyway, when we come back, the topic, the WNBA. That's right. I'm talking about it. Downright Sports. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Downright Sports. This is the topic uh, today. This topic is the WNBA. And about two weeks ago, 
uh, three weeks ago rather, reports were coming out more and more NBA players, WNBA players, a lot of the ladies are considering not coming back and just playing overseas because they make that much more money. Because in their own home country, in a league that they all grew up as, as kids watching and wanted to participate in, doesn't treat them with any respect. Um, if you watch some of the games as I have, you can see that when it comes down to they're playing on college stadiums without their own logo. You get what I mean? Like, they're basically being removed from the arena that they normally play because a concert or something holds more weight. Now, yes, the concert will draw in more money to the WNBA game, but see, that has to change. The, MB, the WNBA's average salary starts at uh, about 7, 70K a year. That's an average salary of a New York City school teacher or police officer. Now, I know what you're saying. Well, they're just playing a game of basketball, Brent. Yes, but when their counterparts, the NBA basketball players' average salary is $4 million, you have to say to yourself, it's just not fair. You get what I, you know, it's just not right. You, 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 you know, drug dealers make more than WNBA players at this point. They go overseas, they average at 100K. So it's a, you know, that's outsourcing at its best. You're basically outsourcing your best talent to go overseas and play, and they're not even televised, and they make more money. The uh, WB has a cat that's at $100,000. A cat that I, the, the NFL laughs at that. The NFL players who cry about not having any money just look at the WNBA players and give them change as they walk by and put a dollar in their cup. Here you go, girls. You know, the the big the the, 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 the basically the WNBA does lose money every year, and the only way they gain money is through the NBA's television deal because the NBA has a contract with ESPN. That's how the WNBA gets paid off of that revenue. Basically, they hand them scraps. So, go with me, if you will, as I now become the commissioner of the WNBA, which I think I can do a much better job. First and foremost, what we're going to do as Brent Reed, as commissioner of the WNBA, is take them out of these ginormous arenas. They don't need to play in 15, 16,000 seats arenas. We're going to treat the WNBA like we kind of treat Kyle, uh, the MLS. We're going to put them in smaller venues. Or, you know what? How about they do play in college arenas? The atmosphere will be better. The locate, uh, the, the, the crowd reaction will be better. The ticket prices will be more affordable. And now the game will look more exciting versus being in these grandiose big arenas. Because the girls, don't, the ladies don't dunk. There's a couple that can, but it's not frequently, so it doesn't look explosive and sexy. But they can play. And what we're going to do is, on top of that, we're going to market that. We're going to take the best names and we're going to put them out there. We're not going to put them out there just during the season. We're going to put them out there all the time. We're going to have the the Tarazis, the Sue Birds, the Maya Moores, um, the Ella Don, the um, Candace Parkers, Skylar Diggins, Smith. We're going to put them on everything, any avenue, anywhere we can get their faces seen. Now, I know you're gonna, some of you, gonna, whoever watches this show, all two and a half of you may get mad at this statement, but you have to do, you may have to learn from the WWE. Now, I'm not saying you make them sexy, you put lipstick on them because, you know, that the WWE is uh, fiction. NBA is reality. So, but you do need to put, just like in men's base, men's sports, the faces that can sell the tickets that will appeal to people, you got to put them everywhere. You got to put them everywhere. Got to get different sponsorships. You, you got to, you, you, and you, you have to put them in, in, in situations. They got to be on Ryan and Kelly. They got to, they have to be on carpool karaoke. They have to be everywhere. They have to be as, Candace Parker can't be the only person that's out there. The WNBA did that before with Lisa Leslie. And the only reason why that was they both play in L.A. So L.A., everybody's a star out there. But you need to take people like uh, Ella, uh, Maya Moore, who is maybe the best in the game. Maya Moore's got like four championships. Nobody knows that. She does play in Minnesota. But if you put her in places where she can succeed, put her on, uh, put her in front of a camera, put her on a game show, market her sneaker, 
then they're relatable. The other thing is, stop with these these campaigns that basically say, hey, if he could do it, I could do it campaigns. Enough's enough. Pick a storyline, market it. Whoever the rival teams are, market it. I don't know who the rival teams are because the WNBA changes every six days. But when build it up, you got the you got an LA team, you got a New York team, build it up. When Candace Parker plays Miami Moore, build it up. But they but the WNBA has to take that. They have to take it in their own hands because ESPN is not going to do it because it doesn't. The WNBA doesn't start with NFL. If you haven't noticed, the, that's pretty much what they talk about. But with social media, with the internet, the WNBA could be one of the first um, sports like UF, like uh, the U, uh, UFC where they use the internet as a platform to get their people out there. Have reality shows. Again, WWE format. Look at one thing I know that people love about women is when they're catty. And you put a camera with a reality theme, reality show theme behind it, and now you may bring some butts to the seats. I'm not saying it could, but the WNBA has to find another revenue stream to pay these ladies so they get more money. Or they won't be a league, or the WNBA will be a minor league system for the foreign, for, for um, overseas basketball. Because again, if you look, the to uh, the, the the total salary, the total salary for one NBA team is a million dollars. The Yankees' average player makes that by themselves. So you got to find a new formula to get it going. Make an arrangement with it in the video games. They have to be another revenue stream for these ladies to make more money. That's how the players do it. They get money because they get the back end from a revenue stream. The NBA say what they want. They're basically just paying these ladies for free. Pretty much. I think the big three, Ice Cube's big three league, they make more money than the WNBA players. Which another thing, if I'm Ice Cube, I open that up. Don't just let the guys play. Include the ladies. Because in a pickup basketball game, guy, uh, ladies, guys and girls can play together. And that would be dope. Like if you see Lisa Leslie playing against... Um, Baron Davis, or you know, that would be pretty awesome. That would be something to watch. I went over my time by like two minutes. Anyway, come back, movies and video games. I'll make that one quicker. Downright sports. Movies and video games are gonna be kind of quick today, but take a look. The shirt is in. Go to explainclothing.com, explainclothing.com, get your shirt. It comes in white. This is a 2XL. Go get your shirt. I got an XL. I want to be sexy, I want to be tight. Anyway, uh, movies and video games. New video game comes out this week, Sean. This one goes out to you. Spider-Man, the new Spider-Man game, uh, exclusively on the PS4. Suck it, Xbox. Uh, <laughs> it's coming out this Friday. The game looks fantastic. Uh, it's basically Sony's version of Warner Brothers' Batman video game. Uh, pretty much Spider-Man and Batman... Maybe the only characters, if you think about it, you can make a video game like that off of where the it's an open world concept. The city is big enough. Spider-Man is more is human enough where he's not like um, my favorite superhero, uh, uh, Superman or um, a Wonder. You know where basically like they can get hurt, and so this is, you know that's the idea of a video game is you have to overcome an objection. Um, made me think of. Uh, the old Maximum Carnage video game that was out for uh, back in the day. Some of you may not know about that game because you're not old enough. I remember Maximum Carnage because it was awesome. And it was like the best game I played and then it just went away. But it made me think what other um, cool video, what other cool superheroes you can make a video game out of. You could do a Wonder Woman game. Uh, you could do an Iron Man game. You could do a Captain America. I would play that in a heartbeat. Um, you could do a Wolverine. You just give him a solo game. Uh, shoot. I'm trying to think. Um, you could do a, a Robin and Nightwing solo kind of game. 
you could do a, 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 a partner game. Now, my boy Sean was telling me that the potential is that this Marvel game, this, this uh, Spider-Man game, can lead to other Marvel Universe games, which would be pretty awesome if you, if you ask me. And, you know, that's the whole point of video games, is just to have fun, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, thank you all for watching. I promise not to take another two weeks off. I just did not feel like doing anything for the last two weeks. Um, I'm just talking returns this week. Finally, episode 30. I was not ready to put it out. It's going to come out probably today, if uh, up to my executive producer, the DJ Chase. Uh, and then also email us. I'm not going to say it all. And then tweet me. I'm not going to say it all. And then if you need music um, and you need uh, a great producer, you feel me? Uh, and then again, explainclothing.com. Go get your shirt. They have sizes. Are you ready for this? If you go to uh, you go to Walmart, you go to Target, you go to Macy's, you're a big guy or you're a small person, but you just want a t-shirt to rock out in, at the party, whether you're a lady or you're a dude, but you can't never find your size, explainclothing.com has it from sizes small to 6XL. That's right. And the shipping is not that long. So for just $20... You get you a very good t-shirt made out of great fabric. This t-shirt is so good, I think it's a simia. I'm now Venom. Yes, I am now Venom in this t-shirt. Anyway, um, we'll be back next week. New topic. I don't know what I'm going to touch on. Maybe gambling. Maybe um, the unfair disadvantages of sexism in sports. Yeah, we should do that. I'm not doing that. See you guys. Oh, sorry. Deuces.